Hello everyone, Juxtaposition here. Today's video will be entitled Mort Saul, CIA Operative. That's what I said, CIA Operative. Okay, I had a loyal subscriber um, request that I do a video on Mort Saul, a political satirist comedian. And um, I was reluctant to uh, take on this challenge because... Um, of the deep dive required to get into the comedy industry as I've done with the uh, Hollywood and Brill Building Manhattan New York music industry as I have with the television industry and uh, the film industry it's the same industry it's entertainment right it's um, bank anthropology it's social engineering. That's what Mort Saul chose as his career. So before I get into the dirty, dirty, dirty business that Mort Saul built a 40 plus year career in, and there is no way that Mort Saul can come out of this thing, you know, clean. No way. But anyway, um, I always liked Mort Saul. I like most comedians, not all. Um, I will give you some names of comedians I thought were unfunny. It's not that I didn't like them, it's just I didn't think they were funny. And Mort Saul had a way of sort of making you think. He was a skeptic. He was satirical. Um, let me just say that he was born in um, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. So he's not an American citizen. Uh, perhaps he became a citizen. He lived most of his life in America. Anyway, he was born on May 11th, 1927, right? So that made him, let's see, what did that make him? 15 years old when we had Pearl Harbor. He was 14, and he was going to turn 15 right after Pearl Harbor, May 11th. So it, uh, he's a comedian, he's an actor. He's appeared with Jerry Lewis on Jerry Lewis's television show in 1963. He's referred to uh, Mort Saul, Mort Lion Saul is referred to as a social satiric satirist. He's considered the first modern comedian. Always beware people when you hear the word modern comedian like neo socialist, neo con, neo economics. Uh, whenever you hear the word new, it means same all, same all. Okay, he's not new. Okay, political satirism is not new, and Mort Saul did not create it. Okay, anyway, he's uh, being presented as pioneering a style of social satire that pokes fun at our political and current event topics. He typically brings out a newspaper on stage and uses that as his only prop in his act. Mort Saul spent his early years in Los Angeles, and he moved to the San Francisco Bay Area, where he pursued his girlfriend, who became his first wife, um, and he audited classes at University of California, Berkeley. He did not graduate, and I don't believe he was enrolled in the University of California systems in Berkeley. He, he did, however, graduate from University of Southern California, USC, and uh, he also attended the Compton College which is now known as the El Camino Community College. But he attended a community college, transferred to USC, and he, uh, he uh, I'll get into that in a second. Uh, he did graduate from USC um, in 1950, and that's really when he began his career pursuing comedy, even though he had a major in traffic engineering and city management from USC, University of Southern California which is near Compton, where he attended Compton College. Uh, what else can I tell you? Yes, of course, he was, uh, after Pearl Harbor, when he was 14 years old, he joined his school's Reserve Officer Training Corp., which is ROTC, while he was in high school. When he turned 15, he dropped out of high school to join the United States Army by lying about his age, allegedly. His mother tracked him down and brought him home and um, after she revealed to the army his true age by showing them, I guess, his birth certificate. There was an attempt by his father to enroll young Mort into West Point on the Hudson River, West Point Academy, but uh, 
was unable to do so. Um, he then re-enlisted in the United States Army and uh, was stationed in Alaska with part of the 93rd Air Depot Group. In the military, he resisted discipline and authority. At least that's what the Wikipedia wants you to believe. I'm not going to buy that story, people. I really like my Mart Saul, but I'm not going to come on and do my video and make up a bunch of mendacities about him, okay? Mort Saul had a long, long life and a long career. He died at age 94 in Mill Valley, California. Now, when I say Mill Valley, that means Spooksville, USA. In other words, Mort Saul was living in Marin County and he died in Mill Valley, which is at the heart of the CIA and military intelligence. So, Mort Saul has always been, from age 15 until his death, a participant in military intelligence. That's his true position, okay? He's, he's a fake comedian, okay? He's not that funny. He is a good political satirist. He is put in the category of Will Rogers, who, by the way, you know, he was military intelligence too. That's where Charlie Manson lived for a year in the Will Rogers estate at 14400 Sunset Boulevard in Pacific Palisades near where Arnold steroid gubernator Schwarzenegger lives. Charlie Manson lived in the Will Rogers CBS Masonic Eye hunting lodge, six acres, Olympic size swimming pool, five bedrooms, 13 rooms. <laughs> Will Rogers house was home to Charlie Miles Maddox. And Mort Saul is not any different than Charlie Miles Maddox. He's the same guy, except he has a degree from USC, where Charlie Manson never attended high school, let alone a community college or a university. All right, so don't, at, bought, don't fall for the potato and the tailpipe, people. When you're talking about uh, murder and assassination, and you're talking about maritime law under the guise of a democracy, you need people like Mort Saul and Mark Levin Lane and Oliver Silverstein Stone. And let's not leave out, uh, who am I leaving out here? Harold Weisberg.